I'm Brian Poole. I am the um, tech coordinator, tech integration specialist, and high school computer science teacher, or at least one of them, here at National Trail Local Schools. And this is our um, overview of our, our new staff technology orientation. Um, my contact information is right there. I'm at extension 1235. Uh, or you can reach me um, via our email at bpool at nationaltrail.us. This is a little background. I've been here since 2003 um, doing uh, those three jobs. Uh, prior to that, I am a retired lieutenant colonel from the Air Force, and I was a pilot uh, in uh, Air Education Training Command, which is where I really taught teaching and or learned to teach. And then I was a special operations pilot in the MH-53 and a cargo pilot in the C-141 um, and landed here at National Trail. Love it here. So let's get into kind of some stuff here uh, at National Trail. We do a lot of technology related professional development. Um, I have an extensive YouTube site, um, which you can see right there uh, is youtube.nationaltrail.us. If you go there, you will find a lot of frequently asked questions, previous uh, technology things. And in general, if you email me a question, I'm probably going to email you back a link to an existing video, or I'm going to make you a video just for you and send you a link to that as well. Uh, right now, we have Tech Tuesdays after school at 245 and 345 in room um, 203, which is my room in the high school. Uh, we vary the subjects, we record all those, and we email them out afterwards. Um, and they're also live on our YouTube channel, and I usually send out links ahead of time. Uh, if nothing is scheduled, I'm always there later on those days anyway um, to provide help and support for staff for specific questions. And additionally, um, I obviously teach other things for staff, and we do a yearly technology skills in-service, which is not just me. It's myself and usually eight to ten other teachers or more that share the things that they do in their classrooms uh, every day with the rest of uh, National Trail and teachers from other schools in Preble County sometimes come to attend. If you need tech help, you can just, uh, if it's not an emergency, you can just email helpdesk at nationaltrail.us. You can also go to helpdesk dot nationaltrail.us which will end up here this is just a regular username and password sign on we'll talk about our username and passwords um, as well you only have to go here if you want to see the status any updates make sure that it actually went in but just email helpdesk at nationaltrail.us that's the easiest way for you to put in a help ticket um, i get it my interns get it and we never close them until um they're complete. But any comments or anything we put in there, you can see by going to the web page. Um, you can submit all those things as well when you're on the web page, but you don't have to. Uh, there should be a button on your desktop that says help with the big red help button on your computer that gets you here as well. Again, email helpdesk at nationaltrail.us or go to helpdesk.nationaltrail.us and you end up the same place. Uh, we have an extensive online presence here at National Trail. We have a school website at www.nationaltrail.us, and you can see um, it, it. You'll see that it resolves to nationaltrail.k12.oh.us, which is a, a regular um, educational page. But we own nationaltrail.us, so they all resolve to that. So uh, the website is www. They all start with different things. You can see Moodle, our learning management system is moodle.nationaltrail.us. Our library is library.nationaltrail.us. Support is support.nationaltrail.us. And we have a mobile access website, which allows you to get to your network drives at mobile.nationaltrail.us. Um, so those are the, the, the main ones. Um, our username and passwords are always first initial, last name is the username. That gets you into your PC, Moodle, the website, the mobile, web, mobile website. Um, and Gmail should have the same thing, but it ends with the at nationaltrail.us. Um, you will get an initial password, uh, and it's always um, Blazor, capital B, 
uh, then your first initial, last initial in caps with an exclamation point. That's always going to be your initial password. And then you will have to change it to whatever you want to. It always has to be eight characters, uppercase, lowercase, and a number included or a special character uh, to make it a little bit difficult. It can't have any words from your name in it. Uh, and we highly suggest that you think about having a password that um, is not easily broken. Don't write it on your screen. Um, because if you can get into it, then students can take it and get into anything that you have access to as well. <clears throat> Dazzle is our current student information suite. Uh, it has a different username and password, which you'll get in an email from the district secretary who sets that up. But usually it's your school underscore your initials. That's what mine is, NTHS underscore BP, BP. But just like the username, if it's already used, there might be a little bit uh, differentiation there. As far as systems, you really have three options of your system, and we really want to put in what you are most comfortable with. Um, the desktop option, option number one, is the best one if you're going to use CDs a lot. It also cools the best, but it takes up the most desk space. And if you are one of those teachers that have a built-in desk, you may want option number two, which is a smaller form factor. Internally, they're basically all the same. Option number one and number two Sorry, I had to sneeze there. Option number one and number two are actually two drive systems. Those are the fastest because of its two drive system. And um, we can wipe those and re-image them and you'll never lose any information on those. Uh, everyone uh, gets, unless they don't want one, a laptop. And if you want your option to be number three, which is basically that's a you use your laptop, take it home and back with you, and it's also your desktop. It goes on a docking station. We can give you a full-size keyboard and mouse. That option is available for you too. We only have um, really administrators and three or four teachers that do that because the concern always with this teaching staff is that if I take it home and then I get sick or a sub comes in, what do they use? And it kind of makes it a little more difficult for them. Um, but certainly that is one of your options. Whichever one you have is what it's assuming you're going to start with. And if you want to try one of the other ones, if you want a bigger one, you want a smaller one, you just need to let us know and we'll make that change for you. Basically all the same i5, i7s with the same amount of memory. Um, it's just your preference. Other tools that you have in the classroom, um, some of these are everyone has, some of these are everyone has that asked for them. Um, and I'll kind of go through those. Everyone has a digital whiteboard. Um, whether you have a Memeo or a smart board is really up to you. We have both available. And if you are like, I love smart boards, I really want that, um, we can change that out for you. Just need to email helpdesk at nationaltrail.us and we'll get a hold of maintenance to put it in the bracket and make that happen. If on the other hand, you, you want to use your dry erase board as a dry erase board and a digital whiteboard, you may prefer the Mimeo. They both have the same basic, basic functionality. I started out with a smart board, um, but I have a Mimeo in my classroom now. We highly recommend that teachers get used to using their digital whiteboard, um, really because it allows you to record and have a presence online for students that don't make it in, especially during uh, COVID-19. It, it has become increasingly more important. You can see a little mic up there. Um, classroom mics are provided to any teacher who asks for one. Uh, we really started a push a couple years ago with recording your classes and posting them online for students. Uh, and with a, without a microphone, you really can't do that. And all you have to do is ask if you don't have one. We have a couple different versions of microphones. We have this one, which is the original version. And then we have a larger, it's called a snowball. That's a snowflake um, mic. But you just need to let me know um, about that. And there's subsequent courses on how to do that. IPVO cameras um, are great for project notes. You can use it as a webcam. You can use it to demo work. You can use it for all kinds of stuff. It's a document camera that also make, works perfectly well as a webcam. Uh, you can use it with Google Meet to have yourself in your classes. Um, if you don't have one, you just need to ask. Uh, over 70% of the staff have ones at this time, and I have a couple spare ones. You may have to wait if a bunch of people ask at the same time, but you will get one if you ask for one. Big thing on technology help. Ask if you want something, uh, whether that's a tool 
or uh, assistance with something, um, I try very hard to provide staff members with the things that they want. Um, if you want to check online at youtube.nationaltrail.us, that's great. If you just email me, um, that great, that's great too. Our work order system, in the past, we've said that there'd be a one hour repair time for teachers may not be the case uh, while COVID-19 is going on uh, because I will not be entering a classroom full of students and uh, we'll be doing those things after 2.45 in the afternoon when, when classrooms are empty. Um, I do not respond immediately to student support calls. We say we'll, we'll have that done within 24 hours, just pin a work order ticket. I do ask that you put them in. Don't wait until you have a pile. In the past, I've had teachers wait until they've got six or seven laptops that don't work, and then they put in a work order. We'd rather fix them as they go so you never have more than one thing down at a time if, if that were to happen. Uh, network drives. If you're logged on to a National Trail computer, you should see a drive that says T drive under the computer part of your PCs. That is a uh, drive that is backed up daily, archived weekly. Uh, it is almost impossible to lose things, lose things on your T drive. Uh, we highly encourage you to store your important stuff on your T drive. Uh, because of the fact that it's backed up. None of your local documents on your PC are ever backed up. If you lose them, they're gone. Uh, you can access your T drive from home or from anywhere, your mobile phone, uh, going to mobile.nationaltrail.us, put in your username and password and you'll see your T drive, as well as some software downloads uh, for home use. Like if you wanna install Office on your PC at home, there's a folder to do that as well. Uh, and some other pieces of software there for uh, teachers as well. Uh, if you don't know, if you go to this PC, you'll see a T drive down here, and that T drive um, is your location on the network to save things um, so that it's accessible offline and backed up all the time. This is what it looks like if you go to that page. Uh, you'll see your T drive and whatever folders, subfolders, documents, whatever, uh, and you can drag and drop straight to that to upload things to that from home. And you can right click and download um, to your PC at home uh, right there as well. Moodle, there's a whole course on Moodle. Uh, I'm not gonna go to, into it too much. It is our online learning management system. It is the online gradebook for all classes. Uh, it is used to post resources, accomplish ass assignments, and I'm not going to go any further into it than that. Just so you know what Moodle is, there's a whole Moodle um, certification class that will teach you all the different things that you can do in Moodle. We are a G Suite district. Uh, I already went over the username is your first initial last name at nationaltrail.us. Students all have accounts. Theirs just begin with their graduation year. Uh, and then we have mail groups available to you to email out to whole student groups at, at 2020 at nationaltrail.us would be all 2020 students. NTHS underscore students at nationaltrail.us would get all high school students. NTHS staff uh, at nationaltrail.us would be all staff. The one thing we ask you, if you don't know how to use BCC field, whenever you're sending to any of our mailing groups, please put the mailing group in the BCC field uh, if you don't, you'll immediately find out why. Uh, we have students that once you put in a regular field will respond to all and will be sending all kinds of messages out uh, that in the, in the past have, have gone poorly. How about that? That's the best way to say it. So make sure when you put in a mailing group, you put that in the BCC field, which is stands for blind carbon copy and nobody knows who else got the email if you put it in the BCC. Logging on to Moodle, you just use your username at nationaltrail.us into any Google logon and then whatever your password is. Um, we use Google Docs, Google Slides, Google Sheets, and YouTube uh, extensively here at National Trail. Again, Moodle is our online courseware, but you can it integrates perfectly with Google Docs and the G Suite as well. Uh, passwords, I highly recommend um, having some kind of a cohesive password policy, but make it something that you'll know and nobody else can guess. Uh, I always say, you know, grandfather's middle name, mother's maiden name, something that you know about you and your family, but don't use your husband's name, your child's name, or your cat's name, or the name that's over on a board right next to you. Uh, it has to have an upper, a lower, and a number. It has to be eight characters long, uh, and it can also have a special character as well. 
Dazzle is our student information system. Um, there's a link on all desktops. It's used for lunch counts, attendance, grades, and checking basic contact information uh, as well. And when you go to that, there should be a link on your desktop. You pick the dsl.swoka.net in the domain, your username and password, and again, you get that from uh, the district secretary. You should be getting an email with that information. And this is basically what Dazzle looks like. This is an orientation to Dazzle. It's just letting you know that you can go down. I want you to know that you could go down and change your password just by going to my account and then hitting the change password button so that you can sync all your passwords up so you don't have to remember uh, 20 different passwords. That's a basic orientation of it. Now, um, from here on out, everything really past this is going to be um, instructional courses in Moodle. The new staff orientation course has several different sections, but it's gamified, meaning that you're only seeing one section until you complete the previous section, and then the next section will show up for you, and you'll see the table of contents expanding as you go through uh, those trainings on the left-hand side. Obviously, I'm always available for questions, but we've kind of put together this whole thing so that you can do it uh, before you show up day one uh, to give you a better orientation on what's going on. Uh, I will tell you that I don't know what everyone teaches, so you have to email me and say, hey, I'm the new sixth grade science teacher. I need access to the sixth grade science Moodle class. And what I will do will be to make you a new one that's completely empty, as well as making you the teacher on the old course um, so that you can build your course or decide to use somebody else's if you feel like it's set up really well uh, and you want to just continue using one that somebody else has developed. That's completely up to you. Uh, if you've got any questions, let me know, and uh, welcome to National Trail.